Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K screen paint using Ambulant Rejection, Technology Gain, times 4, 5, and 7. So today I'm doing a demonstration. I should do it early this morning. We're doing a demonstration today around uh, 6, uh, 26 in the evening. Now, this technology will pop up in the hours of 4, 5, and 6. Also, 2 early in the morning in the hours of 6, 7, 8, and 9. All right, so first things first, the porch, length of the porch is about 10 feet from here to here to where the welcome mat is at. Um, right here, we're probably about a good, maybe about uh, two or three feet here. And then off the porch, we're coming in at around somewhere between maybe three. And just, to, just to show you exactly how beautiful the screen comes up. Now, this is a Superior 7 that we're using. And I did this demonstration outside this morning uh, using a projector of 1100 lumens and 42. And the reason why I chose to push the screen away from the porch because I didn't want it to get protected by any form of uh, shading whatsoever. I want it sitting right out in the open. Now if you see me bring my camera down that is because a car is going past. I don't want to basically record a car or anybody walking in front of the camera. Okay, give me about a minute. I'm gonna shut our door. All right, there we go. I got some neighbors, boy, I tell you. I got some neighbors that try <laughs> to get on camera. It is the funniest thing ever, but they will try to basically walk in front of the camera. So there's a bit of camera tag, so I have to keep turning around and moving the camera around because they will try desperately to get on camera. It's the funniest thing ever. All right, so we're gonna do a contrast demonstration from here. All right. We did a city demonstration, because city demonstration, this particular demonstration is kind of hard to pull up because it is all contrast. And there's our time right there. We're over at 629 right now. There we go. Open up the door again. Yeah, but I got people that literally try to walk in front of the camera. Funny. That's the image we're pulling up at around 629. Uh, let's go to some basketball highlights. Those of you are going to be watching sports outside. Now I just ordered a special screen. It will be in here tomorrow. So I'm going to start coding that tomorrow and getting ready to start doing demonstrations off of that. It's going to be an interesting screen. I'm not going to tell you what kind of screen it is, but trust me, we may start selling them.
And I'm gonna show you something. The tree, the shape of the tree is not protecting the screen anyway. Cause I'm gonna show you something. Look at this. So when I come out, See between here and here, the tree only guns, but so far, so it's taking in a ton of ambient light. Bringing my camera down, car is passing. There we go. The one, the blue fish. Like I said, these are demonstrations that other screen paints will not do with the blues. This is where my projector sits. out for it sits off from the porch Sorry about that. That's me trying to set up a video, but for some reason I got the wrong um, Chromecast feed. Got the wrong one. There we go. This Chromecast I'm plugging up right now. So in here, I have the B movie playing here inside the house, and then out here I have Team Titans. My favorite cartoon in the entire world. A wine style. Camera down. Anytime a car comes by, you're always gonna hear me put that camera down. I love how he says the wine style. So. Hawaii and so.
<laughs> All right, show your screen's jet black. Oh, boom, jet black. If I did this with a light gray screen or white screen, it would have completely washed out. Okay, I'm throwing a fast movie trailer for my battery dies. That's what I was looking for on my cell phone. I was trying to find any kind of movie trailer. For some reason, Netflix is stuck on my other screen. So you can see when it comes to dark contrast levels, this is very important when it comes to black screens. So if you're watching a movie outside, and your contrast levels pull up, a white screen is automatically going to fade. A gray screen is automatically going to fade. A black screen is going to produce an image with no problem whatsoever. And keep in mind, any technology that can pull an image outside, and we've done this on 1100 lumens, can easily display an image inside. Now that's a Superior 7. This one over here is a Supreme, this is a, um, I'm sorry, that's a Supreme 7, I get a mix up, that's a Supreme 7, because they have the names are so much alike. Supreme 7, and this is a superior roll-on using Amulite Rejection Technology Game Times 4. Trying to get my cell phone with me, kind of buggy. Alright, and we're going to end it on the most hardest demonstration, which nobody, no one will try. This is a Starfield demonstration outside. There you are, Starfield demonstration outside. This is, I guarantee you, no white screen paint, no gray screen paint, no white or gray screen will ever have the ability to produce a star field. As I said before, when it comes to a black screen, black screens are the only ones that have the ability to be able to produce amazing contrast. And with our technology, we have white, we have contrast and white levels. Okay, for my time. I might see my camera moving to the sides because I'm actually grabbing the video off my cell phone. That's why the camera moves to the side. So we're going to show a snowstorm. That's what a snowstorm looks like on our black screen paint outside. Nice and close on it so you can see how white the white levels are. All right, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'm Kenneth Bird from Luminous Screen Paint using Ambulite Rejection Technology Game Times 4, 5, and 7. Our Supreme 7 is built up on our website. We're still having our summer sale, and we got a special projection screen coming tomorrow that I will be coding very soon. It is going to look absolutely incredible. Thank you all for your time. I have to go, and God bless.